Uh, welcome to the Gaming America Huddle. I am Stephanie and I'm here with Val Martinez of bettingladies.com. Hello, Val. Hi. Hi. Glad to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Great. Thanks for coming. Uh, so we'll get started on our questions. And the first one is, when did you have the idea for bettingladies.com? And did it come from any particular betting experience you had? So I moved to the U.S. five years ago. I'm originally from Italy. I spent uh, 15 years in London, uh, and then I moved to the U.S. And uh, coincidentally is uh, when uh, I moved, when uh, the sports betting industry um started opening up uh, and uh, all the other um, and the, the basically the um, sports betting uh, uh, became legal in uh, some of the states in the in the US. So I started seeing the evolution of the market uh, in uh, um, in the US uh, and uh, all the various sports book or content provider were targeting mainly men. And uh, I remember the uh, Kind of experiences that I had in Italy or or in the UK, where uh, every the sports betting industry was already legalized since I can't remember, um, and I would go to Ascot and place a little bet, and everything was very normal. While in the US, it was a little bit more contrived, probably because it was a beginning, and I thought there must be a better way to speak to women uh, in a you know normal, friendly way, and that's where betting ladies uh, came up as an idea. Maybe there is. And uh, I created Betting Ladies. So just based on experiences you've had all over the world, then that's quite cool. Um, <laughs> was there a certain amount of time that you can remember from the initial concept to the founding of the brand? How long did it take? I will say from uh, uh, the initial concept to final execution and launching in the, in the market, uh, probably one year. That's quick. Well, Were there any challenges there, even though... Yes, absolutely. I mean, a quick, uh, uh, you know, as an entrepreneur, you want everything to happen yesterday uh, rather than, uh, you know, in one year time. I think it was uh, challenging to to craft a message and uh, start finding women that understand sports betting. Uh, Simply because uh, you know women are more reserved. Uh, we 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 don't advertise ourselves as much as men. I think we need to learn. So uh, we found we started with Danielle, who is our ex wrestler, uh, expert uh, sports uh, backer, and uh, and then we moved to all the other girls. Once you find one, then you find a plethora of uh, of women that love sports and sports betting. It's true. There are a huge amount of women who love sport. And we wanted to ask how important it is to educate women who love sports but aren't betters yet on how to bet. I think it's fun. I mean, betting lady is all about, you know, having fun. And uh, and if you like sports, you're already in. You're already interested in the game. And uh, I think that having a little skin in the game uh it's always more uh, more fun and uh, you know more uh, exciting uh, uh, than watching the game without placing a bet i mean don't bet your house bet whatever you can afford to lose but i think it's fun the website has a slogan of bet like a lady which you've explained is a fun way to say that women might do things a bit differently but we wanted to check in on how that came about and say that while that might empower some women we wondered if it doesn't possibly reinforce a stereotype that women are different than men a little bit. I mean, uh, it's a very good question, and thanks for asking it. Uh, um, so, bet like very for me, uh, it, it came about uh, uh, looking at the numbers. Uh, the numbers demonstrate, or at the moment, they prove that women are better betters than men. So, if you reinforce the stereotype that women are slightly better than men, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and uh, and if you look at the um, if you look at the numbers, uh, women uh, are better betters because we lose less than men. I think it's a 20% less than men. We place more responsible bet, bets in the market. We don't do like, you know, crazy parlays. Uh, we maybe bet on the favorite and then we win more money. So that's the idea of bet like a lady. You know, don't bet your house, bet like a lady, bet responsibly and have fun rather than, uh, you know, get yourself into troubles. Sure. And promoting responsible gaming is always important for any betting brand. And how do you plan to do that other than maintaining a sense of fun around betting? I mean, we launched three, three, four weeks ago. And um, 
and we uh, already have uh, inside the website uh, uh, both videos uh, and uh, articles about responsible gambling. And uh, every, I think every three sentences you will hear us saying, uh, you know, gamble responsible, responsibly, um, gamble whatever you can lose. Uh, so we're already very focused on that because, as I said before, we want it to be fun. Of course. Uh, as a brand that caters solely to women, did you have to think about any different marketing choices, design choices, or ways to draw them in? We let uh, the women that work with us uh, be themselves because, you know, all women are different. There is not uh, one uh, secret sauce to talk to women. What women want? That's that's a big question that everybody is asking. The reality is that we're all different and we all want different things. So as a, as a you know, a, a guideline for the brand is be your authentic self, bring your authentic self into betting ladies, into the community. So we have uh, Hannah that write with a certain style uh, that has a certain approach uh, uh, to, um, to to betting. We have uh, Cece of Lady Locks and Danielle. They're all different. Uh, and the underlying uh, decision is that uh, we want it to be inclusive and we want the community to make you feel welcome. And the only way of doing it is if we have real women uh, talking to real women. That's important, of course. Uh, and as far as the events that you plan to have, what's the approach there? Is it going to be more of a VIP feel? How do you plan to bring all of the women together in person as well? Definitely not VIP. We want it to be inclusive. So we there are 4.6 million women better in the US at the moment, uh, according to the latest stats. And uh, uh, our objective is for uh, each one of them to know that betting ladies is a community where they welcome them, that they are all welcome. Uh, and uh, the VIP uh, proposition will kind of uh, go against uh, our inclusive message. So Definitely not VIP. We will welcome everybody. That's great to hear. And what kind of other resources are available for women on your site that weren't available in other places for betters before? I think there is a lot of content out there already, you know, for uh, for gambling and betting. Uh, I think what we're doing different is uh, uh, the messaging. Uh, we're making it, uh, you know, approachable. We're making it fun. We're making it uh, uh, more uh, like you will uh, uh, talk about betting with your girlfriends rather than uh, um, having uh, this formalized, uh, super uh, tech approach uh, on uh, uh, on sports betting. Okay. And um, the last question we had was actually about one of the resources we noticed that we haven't seen on another betting site before, and that's the betting tarot reading. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, they, 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 yes, absolutely. Um, that's a fun little game that I personally liked. Um, I, I like having fun. I like having, uh, uh, you know, my my cards read. And I thought, would it be fun if every time, if you can have, you know, an automation uh, of sort to read your future? And in addition to that, the system can suggest a bet based on uh, on the cards and what the card says about your future. And that's how we created the, the the tarot game. So whenever you feel a, a big decision is coming up, come to the site, have have your tarot your um, tarots read, and also um, see what uh, what bet is suggested for the day. Great. Is there anything else you wanted to add that you think is the most special about bettingladies.com that isn't happening anywhere else yet? I think the the main uh, the main point is definitely the community aspect. Uh, you don't see a community for female sports bettors anywhere else other than betting ladies. And we would like uh, every woman who likes sports or uh, is a sports better to join the community. I think that's the main message for us. Okay. Well, thank you very much for talking to us today. And uh, we will keep a lookout for the growing community of women then betting on sports. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome.